Painting is very spiritual for me. When I paint, I like to listen to music. Or when I'm outside, you hear things around you like the birds, what you're seeing, the light. It makes me excited. I always love to color and dabble in little watercolor sets, paint by numbers. And then when I went to school, my sixth grade teacher was an artist and noticed my talent. I've always been interested in architectural. I did go to college for art at NDSU and I kind of wanted to be an architect, but architectural was too hard. And so I decided my love of painting buildings is because of that. I love old history of buildings and angles. In my architectural, there's a lot of detail. My style of painting in everything I do is a lot of bright colors, a lot of contrast. That's what I'm known for. There's two types of painting. I do watercolors and acrylics. There are two different techniques. With a watercolor, you use paper and it's a water-based paint and it's a lot of layering of washes. So it's a built up kind of a thing. I tend to be an artist that doesn't really plan and draw a lot unless I'm doing commissions or my architectural pieces. Drawing is sort of like your skeleton to your painting. So you need to have some plan there but I am gifted that I can have it in my head and it comes out very easily without measuring. I can just draw really easy paint, really easy. I like to do collections. I traveled to France. I did a whole collection of paintings there. I did a whole collection of all the three colleges, events and buildings and everything that goes on with our colleges in town. My first commissioned one was for the Fargo Film Festival, and so I painted a special painting for their marketing, and people loved it so much, so I kept on painting the Fargo Theater. But I try to reinvent myself and do it different ways, different colors, different styles, just so people have a choice of a fun painting of the Fargo Theater. Chalk art is something I've done for quite a while. There has been festivals in Fargo, Moorhead, and I've been commissioned to do a few of those. I had a friend that asked me to do a piece on his sidewalk because there's walkers at night and there was overwhelming response. From there and I decided to do that every week. I pretty much paint every day. At least I have three commissions going at all times. I make a point to paint what I love and that shows in my painting. I had a couple that had this antique chair um, in their family and so they commissioned me to do a painting on it. And I thought it was going to be something really simple, but they came in with a long list of about 20 things they wanted on this chair. All the things that they loved in their lives and loved to do. It took me a long time to do it. It was like doing 20 paintings, and it was amazing. It's not all about money all the time. It's about love. I love what I do. The more you paint and do your art and are passionate about it, the better you get. And the connections that you make makes a difference in making a living at it. It's wonderful as an artist to have your pieces really loved and it, it's a part of me going out to other people. That's important for an artist to have that feeling and to know that you're doing a good job and people like your stuff.
funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.